My special guest is Terry Bone. Now, Terry and his wife Melissa have written the book, The Power of Blessing, Discovering Your True Identity and Destiny in Christ. And uh, Terry's with me tonight live in the studio to talk about this incredible subject. But also, I want you to be able to check out their website, which is powerofblessing.com. If you get a chance, uh, wait till after the program's over, but go to their website, lots of information there, connections as well, how you can get a copy of this book, which I know you want to have in your hands. The Power of Blessing by Terry and Melissa Bone. Well, as I mentioned, Terry's with me live in the studio. Terry, it's, I want to say it's an honor and it's a privilege to have you with me here tonight. Welcome to your call. Well, it's great to be here. Can't wait to get going on this subject. Well, let, let's dive right in. And um, Terry, you know, you actually believe that a person can rewrite the script of their lives through the power of blessing. Why do you believe that? Well, I believe it because it happened to me. And uh, it's more about having others speak that into your life than you doing it yourself. Really, the, the script, every one of us, uh, follows a script in life. And by saying that, I don't mean we're some sort of automaton, robotic, that, you know, we don't have free choice. We do have the freedom to choose. We know that. Mm -hmm. However, our choices are heavily biased by what we believe about ourselves, others, and God. And you can, you can believe a lie about the world, and it doesn't affect your life very much. So say, for example, you believe the world is flat. All right. Mm. So you can have a nice life. We can have our show here tonight. You can live and go do most of the things you do. You, you might not go as far on vacations. <laughs> you know, you might stay closer to home if you believe the world's flat. Uh -huh. But basically, it doesn't affect your life. But if you believe a lie about yourself, that is a filter that impacts everything you do. Yeah. It impairs you, it impairs your vision, impairs your view of yourself and, and what you believe truly believe in, in your heart, not what you are told you should believe, not what you think others want you to say, mm -hmm. but what you really think and believe in your heart about yourself, others, and God comprises a script. And we follow that and, and, it, and it takes us down a path to greatness or the opposite. And regardless of where we're at, it can change. And I, and I have a story to, to show that and many stories in the book. Mm -hmm. now, now, when you say rewrite the script of our lives through the power of blessing, just explain to me what that actually means. Okay. Well, uh, very succinctly, an oversimplification is this. A blessing is God's favor poured into your life. Okay. okay? We could get technical about it. We, could, we can unpack this in, you know, take hours. But it's, it's favor. It's... Uh, living with the uh, supernatural assistance that every human was designed to live with. Hmm. And that's accessible, and we believe because of what Jesus has done for us, it's there. But many people believe but haven't received. Okay. Uh, many people are in that state of, uh, I believe there's something up there, but it's not working in their life. Hmm. And the reason it's not working in their lives is because of some of the doubts, disbelief, mm -hmm. Lies, well, it, it, you know, if, if you look, the very first chapter of the Bible, the, the very first act of God upon people was a blessing. He made them in His image. He made them different than anyone, any other creature. Mm -hmm. They have the ability to speak, the ability to reason and comprehend spiritual things and just the world in general like other animals don't. That's obvious. And we believe that isn't just some evolutionary trend that we're the top of the chain. Right. But we believe that was a deliberate, separate, uh, creative act. And so we have this image of God. But God didn't just make them and say, now go have a nice life. Let's see if you can handle this earth. It says God made them in his image. Then he blessed them and said rule. There was a divine download okay. of truth and empowerment that gave them the ability to be the general managers of earth. And every one of us called to rule in some area of life. Mm -hmm. Every one of us should rule. And I don't mean boss others around. I mean, use our gifts to serve others. Mm -hmm. Every one of us should have a place in life where we're effective and we're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. My definition of rule is to use your gifts to serve others effectively without struggle. Okay. Okay. And that is enabled through this download of blessing. And that, and, and also you bring out, uh, going back to what God said, uh, blessing them, it, it's speaking the right words 
yeah. over a person's life. Well, it started, I mean, most of the blessings you'll see in the Bible are spoken blessings. Mm -hmm. And they're, um, in our books, we, we go into great detail and talk about the power of words because words are conveyor belts. They take truths, they take unseen power and unseen realities. They deliver them to our minds and hearts, change our lives because they change our belief system, change the possibility. So words are very powerful. And a spoken blessing actually uh, is a delivery vehicle for divine truth and power. Okay, now the delivery vehicle, who actually delivers that? <laughs> well, you know, there's two people assigned to every one of us when we're born who are supposed to be the, as I say, the, uh, um, uh, the FedEx truck driver or the UPS truck driver, and that's our parents. Okay, mom and are, Yeah, uh, authority figures in our life. Anyone to whom we give a security pass to our heart. Okay. Okay, anyone, uh, we open up our heart and give influence they have the ability to speak into the script of our life. Now, they may not know how to bless us. They may not know, and there's, there's some prerequisites for blessing, but they do have the power to change that script in our life. Okay, and um, we're going to get to the phones in just a minute. And we're going to come back to some of this, but just, just I'm going to move real quickly for a second. Um, Mom and Dad have the power to speak that blessing upon our lives. Mm -hmm. What if Ma and Pa fail to do so? Right. Well, we believe it starts even before birth. We believe it starts from the, your, your life starts in your earth day, not just your birthday. Mm -hmm. But let's just talk about little children, for example. Parents, of, parents are, are so incredibly powerful in a child's life, preschool, right up to preteen years. As the twig is bent, so grows the tree. When parents are speaking to their kids, they, uh, parents, if you're listening right now, you are not just conveying information. You are just not teaching or instructing. You're actually writing a message of value and worth on the heart of your children. You're writing on their heart with your words. They uh, do not have enough perspective to be able to filter what you're saying. They will take it as true until a certain age. Hmm. And we will believe that about ourselves. 